welcome to the third section understanding the react portals in this section we are going to understand what are react portals and why do we need them before going further i have a quick question where will you add the modal component a very simple question what do you think would be the correct place to add our model component so if you don't have the context let me remind you that in the starting of the tutorial i showed you that our home page is going to show a model component after 2 second of its loading so after 2 seconds we want to show a sort of model pop up which would have a heading a subheading and buttons and so on probably to show some announcement or probably to tell the user to subscribe to the mailing list or or any other thing so what do you think would be the correct place to place this model in our react component hierarchy do you think that it can be a child of about well this is basically not the exact representation of our uh, portfolio application this probably is not because uh, the slash route contains home and home does not contain project card projects component contains the project card so don't worry too much about the logic of this particular routes and components but just think about it do you think would it be a correct place to put model as a child component of some other component so in the first go it seems like yes what's wrong in it we actually used uh, this this fl fl floating action button as well right and we also used this uh, side navigation bar as well then what's the problem with the model pop up so basically the thing is inside when we were placing the side nav and when we were placing this go back floating action button we knew that it was a direct child of our app component let me remind you let me open our code so inside our code we can easily see that we know it's a this app is basically directly placed inside our div uh, which is of id root so this app component is going to be placed here and it's a direct child of this app component nothing nothing unusual here but the thing with model is that we don't know where are we going to use it for example let's say if i had a a component say home component and inside that let's say i had one more component and inside that i had two more components and inside that i have and so on and now let's say if i place my model component inside that component so do you think it's the the stacking context is still going to be maintained so basically let me remind you how do we create these things how do we place our uh, components on top of each other so this is called stacking context so we used something called the z index so in css during styling or by learning css you must have come across this term called z index so this z index or z index tells us the level of the uh, particular component inside the stacking context or the stack so probably let's say if we have to show or display two or three things on top of each other so the higher the z index that at the top it will appear but the thing with z index is that let's say if the parent div or the parent component of that particular component having the z index high if that is relative position relative and then if that has the a uh, lower z index then even though if you say if you say the z index of model is 999 or uh, 1000 or 10000 still it's not going to take that so that was i know it must be difficult to visualize it but uh, just try to imagine so there is this thing called z index which tells us the position of the current element in the stack but the thing is that it's not absolute if the parent div or the parent container is position relative it becomes according to that so it won't be a good choice to have the model inside about so a model should always be at top of every other element so that's the game while creating the model and that's the sort of limitation of react that in 
if we use the normal things uh, react generally generally uses a single div id with the id root to probably display all our elements so it will have a div with id root and then it will have a app and then will it will have a, a child component and so on so the component hierarchy is maintained like this now we can't place it anywhere apart from this now this is where the react portals come into the picture so the definition of react portal is very simple as you can see here portals provide a first class way to render children into dom node that exists outside the dom hierarchy of the parent component well i know this must have seemed seemed something super difficult to understand and when i read it for the first time even this for for me as well it went on top of head and <laughs> but when i read it once again there is nothing simpler than this <laughs> truly there is there couldn't be anything much more simpler than this simple definition so this portals provide the first class way to render children into a dom node that exists outside the dom hierarchy of the parent component so the dom hierarchy of the parent component says that the topmost component or the topmost element is a div with id root let me show you here so if i inspect element the topmost component is div with id root but our models allow uh, our not model our portals allow us to go through it our portals allow us to so as you know portal portal is something so you we already know we all we all are fi uh, fans of science fiction movies right so what is the meaning of portal in any science fiction movie something that connects some sort of space time to another space time well here it's not a space time but here it's a node inside your document object model so this even though we are going to use our model inside this dom tree still it's going to appear inside our model which is not a child of root that's the beauty of react portals so as you can see this is where the model is going to appear so if you were if you had understand if you have understood this there is nothing else remaining in react portals to understand trust me guys everything else is just a syntax there is nothing else remaining to understand in react portals so let me show it to you through a simple diagram so very simple as of now in every app we built as of now in all of my tutorials you must have seen that there is a body inside the html inside the body there is this div with an id root and then inside this we place all of our react components but react portals allow us to break this usual flow and put a model inside a sibling element of this div with id root so now we can create another div with let's say id model and place our component inside that and we can have all of these so this is the beauty of react portals let's end this video here and in the next video i am going to tell you how can you create your own portal and how can you create your own model in the next video we are going to create this school model completely from scratch it's going to have an announcement a but a couple of buttons and so on so i hope you're going to enjoy it see you in the next video very soon bye bye